This screencast pertains to Module 2, Lesson 16. It's mostly based upon the practice set, but I do explore one of the word problems and discuss it a little bit to give you a hand in solving that problem and another one associated with it. Your homework and your practice set will ask you to do a couple of these problems using some numbered disks. And it's not as bad as it looks. Let's uh, give you an example. So we want to represent 500. So we make five disks. We're going to put 100 in each one of these disks. We're going to take that and we're going to divide each one of these disks by 10. So for each 100, we divide it by 10, and we end up with five disks once again. And each one of these disks will be 100 divided by 10, which is the same as 10. So we finally write in the answer. 500 divided by 10 equals, I'll have to put that underneath, 5 tens, 1 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 tens is 50. The next problem is a little bit more complicated, but not so bad. In this case, we have 12,000. And that means I have 1 10,000. And I have 2 1,000s. I'm going to divide each of those by 100. So what do we have here? We have 10,000 divided by 100. That gives us 100. And I have thousands, two of them, each divided by 100. And 1,000 divided by 100 is 10. So the resultant number is, well, let's take a look. We have one 100. We have two tens. That would be 120. So I'll write the answer. 120. The next few problems, uh, part two, or problems 2A, B, C, etc. They want us to show our thinking. And to show our thinking, we need to decompose uh, my divisor. So if I decompose my divisor, I can de decompose it into two parts. I could say it's the same as 100 times 3. But we're not multiplying or dividing. So when I rewrite this, I'm going to start with my dividend, or my whole. And then I'm going to divide by 100. Then I'm going to divide by 3. 12,000 divided by 100 is 120. We'll divide that by 3. 120 divided by 3 equals 40. That's basically what they want you to do, is to take your, again, your dividend, or divisor rather, uh, decompose it into, we'll call it take out the hundreds, and then perform this as a two-step. So instead of just dividing by 300, we're going to divide by 100, then 3. We get the same answer. Let's do one more example. In this case, we are again going to decompose my 700 into 100 and the 7 because 100 times 7 is the same as 700. We'll rewrite the problem. 56,000 divided by 700 equals 56,000 divided by 100 divided by 7. We'll work this from going from left to right. So I have 56,000 divided by 100. And now I get 5,600. We'll divide that by 7. 
and we get 800. So the answer is 800. Let's work, look at some word problems now. It says a rectangular banquet floor or hall has an area of 3,600 meters squared. The length is 900 meters. Let's draw a picture. We're going to find the width given the length. So we know that that's 900. And in the middle we're going to put 3,600. We have to find the width here. We don't know what it is. We do know that area equals length times width. So we again know that the area equals 90 times the width. When we have a missing factor, we have a division problem. So we know that the area equals 90 times something. Let's do some division. So I'm going to have 3,600 divided by 10 divided by 9. 3,600 divided by 10 is 360. Let me put my division sign in and the 9. And 360 divided by 9 is 40. So the width of the banquet hall is 40 meters. Uh, we're going to use that number. We're going to go on to another problem and uh, do the original area. So we have 3,600 again. It says it's a square. Well, what do we know about squares? The length and the width are equal. So I've got, I'm going to draw a square here. And I have to think of values. What can I multiply? What times what? Because the length and the width are the same. Hmm. Well, I've got this number 36. And I can find pairs of factors that are 36, right? Uh, but the factors need to be exactly the same. So what two numbers that are exactly the same equal 36? The answer would be 6 times 6. But now we have 3,600. So, equals what times what? Well, we have 3,600. If I multiplied 60 times 60, I would get the 3,600. So, the length... of the square banquet hall is 60 meters. A third banquet hall has a perimeter of 3,600 meters. What is the length width if the length is 5 times the width? Things are a little more complicated here. One, we are talking about perimeter. In the previous two problems, we were talking about area. How are we going to solve that? Well, let's, let's draw a picture. I know when I find the perimeter, I find the sum of all the sides. So I'll represent this as W, and the other side is going to be W. And the length is going to be 5 times W. So I'll just write 5 W's. Let's convert that to a tape diagram. I'm going to give it an indefinite length here. So I have one W. I don't know what it is. That's both of these guys here. Now I'm going to have to make how many more W's? 5 plus 5 is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's count that and make sure we have that right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. These are all W's. So now we're going to bracket the top, and we know that all those W's together is 3,600. Now let's take a look at 
what I'm going to do with that, we're going to take that, and we're going to split it into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 equal parts. So we're going to take our 3,600 divided by 12. 36 divided by 12 is 3, and we have our two zeros there. So the answer is 300. One of these units is 300. So the answer to our problem is the width is 300 meters. Over the course of a year, a tractor trailer commutes 160,000 miles across America. Assuming a trucker changes his tires every 40,000 miles and that he starts with a brand new set of tires, how many sets of tires will he use in a year? A lot of kids get confused. He starts with a brand new set of tires. Let's look at what that means. It means he's got brand new tires here and he can go 40,000 miles. So we're at 40,000. He's going to go and go another 40,000, and he needs another set of tires. Once again, 40,000, and he gets yet another set of tires. And finally, another 40,000 miles, he gets a, yet another set. So at this point, he is at 40,000. At this point, he is at 80,000. At this point, he's at 120,000. And finally, he's at 160,000. So this is assuming right here we have brand new tires. I've really kind of given away the answer here. But I wanted to show you conceptually what's going on. And hopefully you can apply it to the next problem, uh, which is 4B, uh, without my assistance here. So go ahead and go at it.